Welcome. Today, I'm very excited. We've got ourselves a brand new Steel Made USA. That is heavy, 44 pounds. Steel Made USA Pro Flat Top Riddle. We've got the original one around here. Oh, it's under here. Uh, that's the full size. We went with the smaller one because we're taking it on and off constantly. So we're gonna try this one out. But today we're focusing on how to season it. So step one is we're gonna take it over to the sink and clean it. There's a bunch of oils and gunk and stuff on here. So we're gonna go through and clean that all off. Then we'll head over to the stove top. Okay, so we're over here at the sink. Before you bring this behemoth over here, you're probably gonna to wanna to protect your sink a little bit. So what we've done is just put a wood cutting board here. We're gonna bring it over and put it on here. It's putting it at a slight angle too, so the water will drip in. Um, if you just bring it over, be worried you might ruin your sink because this thing's heavy. So let's go ahead and bring it over. And as you can see, this sets it up nicely. We can wash. Run, water will run off into the sink, hopefully not all over the counter. And uh, yeah, let's start washing it. Okay, so let's get some hot water, a little bit of soap. We just have a little bit of a scrub brush. Um, and as you can see, there's just some oils and little lint all over. So let's just go through and give that a little bit of a clean. Um, okay, so we've washed the top. You can kind of smell like manufacturing oils. It just smells like we're, we're glad we cleaned it. Probably getting a little water in your kitchen a little bit. It's hard to contain it all. But what we're going to do now is flip it over. Uh, one thing I realized is this cutting board isn't big enough to hold it upside down. So we've brought in its cousin to help us out. Okay, so. This will be interesting. Kind of lost that nice angle that we had. But yeah, pretty much now, what we're gonna do is go through and clean the bottom. This is gonna be a little more tricky than, than the other one. It's okay. Now we'll just show it at the sink. Okay, before we put it on the stove top, we want to dry it real quick. I would recommend using like a lint-free towel, a rag, or an old t-shirt that's lint-free. If you use a paper towel, you'll get little pieces of lint all over, and that's going to kind of ruin your seasoning. And so, and you don't have to dry it 100%, but just knock off a bunch of that water so you're not getting water spots, and it'll be quicker to dry but that's pretty much ready to go to the cooktop. Okay, we've had the griddle heating up for a few minutes now. As you can see, if you look closely, there's some steam coming off. Back here, you can see a little steam coming off. So that's a good sign we're getting most of the moisture out before we put the seasoning on. You don't want to put the seasoning on while it's still wet. So let this go until you don't really see any moisture coming off anymore, and then we're ready to season. Okay, so we, <clears throat> sorry, we are up to about 250 across the board. Just probably hot enough to start putting the oil on. If you don't have a laser thermometer, great investment. That's how you can check that your griddle's kind of the same temp across the board and you can adjust your dials accordingly. But I'll just show you how I'm gonna lay down a nice thick, sorry not thick, a nice thin layer of oil across the board. Now you'll start to see a bunch of smoke coming up.
Now you should start to see some coloration happen throughout the, throughout the griddle. Okay, as you can see, we're actually starting to get some good color. This area here, which is the furthest from a burner, isn't getting a lot, so this might take a bit of time. The rest of it's getting a nice bronze color. So let's go ahead and throw on another coat. I gave it just a little 90 degree rotation so we could try and hit these other spots that need the seasoning. And then obviously going forward you won't need to do that very often, but for just the initial ones, since we don't want rust or anything building up, go ahead and give it a rotate if you're having the same problem I am. So I've applied about 8 to 10 coats now, I haven't showed you every single one. Um, I'll show you now a coat or two with canola oil. So. What you do is just go really light on it. So, just a little drizzle. Because a lot of it will saturate your rag. You just go ahead and wipe it all around, push it around. And for reference, we're sitting at about 450 across the board, which seems to be a pretty good temp. Okay, so we're pretty much done with our initial seasoning. You can see it's got a nice bronze color everywhere. As you cook on it more and more, it'll get darker and darker. Um, later I'll do probably a video on how to season it every few cooks, but here is our initial seasoning. Okay, so we've just finished seasoning our griddle. Here's how it should look, a nice dark bronze color. As time goes on, it will get darker and darker and become more black. But for now, this is how your product should look. If you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching.